Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for May 18th to the 24th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you do is click the join button below. Today, we're gonna do the day to day and then the overall. And if you guys stick with me till the end, I'm going to be answering a pressing question that you want to know. So it'll be a yes or no question to, add, to find out what you guys need to know. That could be love, it could be career and finance, it could be anything, okay? And also guys, yes, we're gonna be doing some new things here today, as well as for some of you may have already realized that my personal readings are closed if you went to my website recently. But I will be holding a contest soon for a free reading. It's free to enter, so I'll be letting you guys know the details about that very soon. So let's, if you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Let's jump right in. Okay, so you guys can see it's a completely different setup than you're normally used to with me. But I wanted to try some new things here. And I know everyone is going through some things right now, as well as I know I am. But I want you to know that you never, never, never give up, okay? So we're gonna be doing the day to day, and then we're gonna look at the blockage delays and challenges and then the overall. I've already shuffled all the cards. I've already meditated on all the cards. So we're just gonna move these cards around a little bit. Okay, so. Um, what's gonna happen with my Pisces romantic love life for May 18th to 24? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. And well, let's get started here. So on the 18th, it looks like there's a want to hold on to Pisces. They're trying to hold on to you with all their might. You can see that. This person, this is the greedy card, right? It's like, I wanna hold on to Pisces. I wanna, I wanna keep them, right? Four of Pentacles energy. Let's see what that's about. What's gonna have my Pisces romantic love life for May 18th to 24th? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Okay, all right, that feels good. Let's we'll see what that's about. It's about control, right? This is like the chariot card energy for me, asserting yourself and taking charge of your destiny. So they wanna hold on to you. They wanna be victorious here with the chariot card energy. And let's see what this, this Four of Pentacles is about. Let me get more information here. Tell me more information about this Four of Pentacles, please. Spirit, Guardian Angels, and Ancestors. Tell me more information about this, please. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. They're committed to this. Something to do with the commitment, engage your marriage. So they want commitment here. And they're committed to holding on to you and gaining control and being victorious here. They're really analyzing this. And they want stability and stableness with you with that Four energy. What's going on the 19th here? It looks like there's this defensive energy. Oh my God, I better keep my guard up here. I don't want to get hurt. So there's like this protective energy going on here. I feel like because of other people and Bob, you see there's birds in the background. It's like hovering around. Let's see what that's about here. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Why is the Nine of Wands here? Guardian Angels and Ancestors, why is the Nine of Wands here for my Pisces? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see because of person cards coming out defensiveness about getting hurt from a person and then let's see what that's about here okay so there's a want for a positive outcome a, a focus on happiness here but there's defensiveness about oh my god am i going to get hurt all right so they want to hold on to you but they don't want to get hurt there's a commitment to a person or something to do with a commitment engage your marriage and something to do with a person involved there is a sense of victory wanting to take control when it comes to happiness here let's keep going on the 24th, oh my goodness, 24th is saying, okay, third party situation, some sense of heartache here. I need to make wise choices and wise decisions. We'll see what that's about. What is this Three of Swords energy about for the 20th? What's this Three of Swords energy about for the 20th? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. It looks like there's people involved, other people involved, or you're looking at your options and choices, or there's a sense of maybe there's a third party situation going on, okay? So it's like, I need to take my alone time here to do some deep, heavy soul searching about this. This is very up and down. Control when it comes to happiness and taking that time to think about things. Wanting to hold on to a situation but feeling defensive about getting hurt because potentially a third party. 
commitment to a person or something to do with commitment, engagement, or marriage to a person, but maybe there's something to do with going out, something to do with choices, something to do with other people involved. Obviously, I do feel like there's something to do with other people involved or other people that are influencing your romantic love life this week. Four talks about stability and stables. Nine talks about desires or fulfillment of wishes. There's something to do with more than one choice or options. There's a lot of analyzing about two plus eight, which is eight, nine, excuse me, 910, which is a sense of completion when it comes to a choice. Let's keep going. All right, so it looks like you're gonna have a reconciliation here on the 21st. What's that about? What is this judgment card about, please? Guardian angels and ancestors, what is this judgment card about? Shimmer cards need to see. Shimmer cards need to see. What's this judgment card about? There's something stable here or something to do with something, uh, it's something to do with someone who feels stuck or stagnant and they want a reconciliation, okay. Mm -hmm. And what's gonna happen on that day? A strong, passionate, physical connection with someone. So this strong, passionate, physical connection is going to make a reconciliation happen and give some sense of stability and stableness here, okay. Putting the work or effort into things, uh, healing and recovery, or re things are going to rule in your favor. Okay, that's, a, that's definitely a day to look forward to on that day. <laughs> All right, on the 22nd, there's some choices being made here. So it looks like the choices are intertwined. If you see here, there's this, uh, this bean, it looks like, and there, there's a, it's growing a vine between the two options here. So these two people, you know, they're making a choice together. So it's a choice together. <laughs> Why? Because there's strong desires. Oh my God, there's obsessive energy here. Strong desires and strong attachments around this choice. Let's see what this choice is about. All right, what's this choice about here on the 22nd? What's this choice about here on May 22nd? Show me cards need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. The choice is about, oh, they're rushing in here. Knight of Wands energy. Mmm. Okay, so there's a lot more chemistry and passion going to be taking place on this 22nd here as choice because there's strong desires and strong attachments here. Also, th they could be paying you a visit on this day, okay? They're, they're making a choice to pay you a visit on this day because they have these strong desires and strong attachments here. Okay, let's keep going. On the 23rd, oh my God, I want to take a risk. I want to take a leap of faith here. Full card energy. What's that about? Because I don't know, or there's some kind of risk here because you're having a sense of confusion here. And let's see what that's about. What's this full card about? What is this full card energy about? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. You're like, all right, I need to make wise choices and wise decisions here with this lily card energy because I don't know. I need to gain clarity here about the situation. Let's see what's going to happen here on the 24th. Mm. So there's some things, burdens, responsibilities here with the Ten of Wands energy. You can see there's a lot, like a lot of things that are I play here it's like a lot of responsibility a lot of things you got to do on this day and it's like oh my god it's a long path to get here to the stability and stableness yeah you're trying to bring things into balance here on this day with the balance card energy see strong desires here and strong attachments this obsessive energy is causing you confusion because you're like things need to be brought into balance where you know i have a lot to give or you know, a choice needs to be made here to bring things into balance. There's a choice being made here to take a risk and it's weighing heavy on your mind. They're wanting to hold on to you, but defensive or you're defensive about getting uh, heartbroken here, three of swords energy. Then there's this healing and recovery happening here. There's a choice here to take this risk for a sense of completion or accomplishment. What is this 10 of wands about? What is this 10 of wands about? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Control, wanting to take control of things. Okay, I want to get more information on this week before we go to the overall. Can I have some more energy information about some information we can they need for this week to understand what's going on better about what's going on with the situation, please? For my Pisces, show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Obviously, one card wanted to fly there. Wow, obviously we have a soulmate connection. A soulmate connection. And by the way, guys, we're doing Twin Flame Soulmate readings. Then that's the next reading I'm bringing out, by the way. All right, so we see there's a soulmate connection here. Okay, and then they're going to give you a message. A Twin Flame Soulmate connection is going to give you a message. Okay, what else? And you're going to see signs here. You're going to see signs for it. What else? What else? What else do the Pisces need to know for this week? Okay, 
Yep, there is a, a start of relationship, loyalty to the heart. And there's going to be a victory here because this is something to do with um, being here in the present moment here. What's your blockage, delays, and challenges around this, this connection this week? Is this true love? Ace of Cups energy. There's a soulmate connection again, guys. I wanted to tell you about these Twin Flame soulmate uh, cards are coming out as of late, right? The block Australian challenge is like, is this my soulmate? Yes, it is. It's confirming in here. This is their soulmate. And you'll see the signs. You're going to get a message from them. They want to be loyal to their heart. You get a victory here in the here and now. Because obviously the block Australian challenge is a soulmate. Give me some more information about this Ace of Cups here, please. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Yep, movement or change or travel. Soulmate here. Okay, so let's see the overall outcome here. Yep, Queen of Cups is saying patient energy. What should I do with my heart? There is some happy news here. Sun card energy. And then we got the Queen of Pentacles energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. There's this patient energy. What's going to be the deal of my emotions here? I am happy about the situation, but what's this going to happen? What's going to happen pertaining to a long term basis with the Queen of Pentacles energy? You're like, from my past experiences, I need to make wise choices and wise decisions here. And there is a focus on healing here with the healing card energy to gain knowledge, right? So you're like, based on my past experiences, you know, I'm still healing here. I'm still reflecting on things. I'm trying to gain knowledge or you have a sense of something secret here. But let's come back to the blockage. You're wondering if this is your soulmate connection, right? So that's part of the block chain challenge. And then you're wanting to reveal some things about love here. But then we go and we get more energy here and we find out, yes, this is a soulmate connection. Look to the signs here. You're going to get a letter of message document. They want to be loyal to their heart and they're will be a focus on a victory here. If we look at that, it's like the Six of Wands energy here. And we can get more uh, information here. Let's go further, Pisces. We get more information from my Pisces for this week, from May 18 to 24. Show my cards need to see. Show my cards need to see. So the more information is trust in the magic, right? Trust in the magic. Because you're feeling like, man, there's got to be something secret here, something off about this. Okay. So let's do a yes or no on your question. So whatever Pisces wanted to know for their question, whatever their pressing question is, whatever they wanted to know, okay, well that's a yes. Seven of Wands says, yes, this is a yes answer. You can defend your position. You can fight for this. You have the higher ground to win this. You will fulfill your desires. Nine of Cups energy. Yes, that's definitely a yes. All right, my beautiful Pisces, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. The next reading I'm going to uh, be releasing, guys, in another day or two is your Twin Flame Soulmate readings, which will be each individual sign, so stay tuned for that. And then after that, we're going to do your X returns. I know we haven't done that in a long time. I asked you in the last reading, what did you want? You said you wanted your Twin Flames, but then also a lot of you said you want X returns, but more of you wanted Twin Flames, so we're gonna do that one first, and then X returns will go next. I love you guys so much. Have a great rest of your week. Thank you to all my members, and I will see you soon.